Well, it's the VW Nut 1967 channel on YouTube. The uh, shop apprentice and I are at the uh, indoor skate park uh, in Rye, New Hampshire. Uh, definitely, if you don't, if you want to ride like half pipes and quarter pipes and slide rails and things like that, or your kids do, like come to Rye, New Hampshire. Good place, Rye Airfield, uh, great place. Um, but I happen to be chilling today because sometimes I'm just an old guy, but decided I detail Ruby in the parking lot. Um, so we just put a quick shine on her. Thought I'd turn you guys on and uh, say hello. Not sure what we're gonna get into this week, but um, definitely we're dusting off the VWs you guys seen. So Ruby is uh, car show ready. So uh, we'll see what we get into this week. Um, we will see you guys tomorrow morning in the garage. Well, we made it back to the garage safely. It's the next day. We are ready to do some work. The car we're going to do some work on is Ruby, my 67 bug. Um, Ruby's problem is, I will show you guys in a second, but there is just a touch of play in the steering. Not a touch. It's a little more than a touch. And I don't know if it's a um, tie rod end or the rag join in the steering, or I'm not sure what it is. Um, so we're gonna take a look. And uh, so to do that, I'll take you guys over and first I'll show you the play in the steering wheel. And then uh, we'll get Ruby jacked up and get to looking underneath the front of there and see what there is to behold about the wiggly bits in the front of my 67 bug. All right, so. Kinda got the wheel and the wheel, the wheel and the wheel in the picture. So I'll come around to this side over here. Oh, careful. And you can see. It sounds like tie rod end to me that. That noise you hear right there. Maybe you don't hear it. I can hear it. So that's my guess. So uh, we'll get her jacked up and uh, see what there is to see. So, I started over here. Oh, it's right here. That's the, um, that's the driver's side. And I was looking, you know, we're looking at the, uh, the tie rod ends and we're looking for wiggle in the wheel, a drag or anything or anything in the ball joint or, you know, everything it seems to be A-OK -okay on this side. Nice and nice and tight. Nice. So, and I looked up here. See if there's a light in here for you guys. I looked up there at the. Um, you can see the uh, rag joint is a. Uh, it appears to be intact and a okay. We gave that a full inspection. Um, so now we'll uh, move over to the other side. Bear with me a sec. We move around a little bit. Get over here. Oh, okay. To the other side. And we're looking up here at this uh, tie rod end. And, you know, we check the ball joint. And it's okay. But you see that? Let's get a good close shot of it. You see that wiggle right there? That's what I'm feeling. So we're gonna want to replace that tie rod end. So let's go ahead and get to the business of ripping that thing out of there. 
I'm gonna get some uh, PB blaster on all that stuff first to just help us out a little bit we'll get this wheel turned all the way so that's gonna help us get in there too all right we'll get you guys set up somewhere where you can spectate most of this adventure and uh, see you there so you can see it's raining but my U Dizzy tractor got left out last night and if we come around the corner right here my uh, other lawn tractor got left out in the rain. So, somebody is going to have some wet pants. So I'll get those put away. Um, I sprayed that uh, tie rod end with a little bit of spray paint before we go ahead and put it, hit it with some lubricant. That way at least we have a starting point marked when we back the old one out, we'll be able to measure the new one and give us a good starting point. We're going to give this a uh, DIY in your garage eyeball alignment as well. And if that doesn't work out, we'll take it to the alignment shop. But we should be able to get her close enough for the amount of driving that car does. Oh, I got you guys a little bit. My apologies. Oh, yeah, I gotta clean you guys up, got a little in your eyes, and uh, I'll bring you guys back. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do is cut the cotter pin out. Then we're gonna get the wrenches, and we're gonna take, um, let me get you guys locking it up a little bit so we're all, so all of us can be in the same place. How you doing? Okay, so. Careful. Yep. Cotter pin down here first. Then I'm going to take this loose. Then we're going to take this loose and we're going to give some gentle love taps in this region right here. I'm not going to take the wheel off unless I have to. It's just easier. It's just easier to leave the wheel on. Um, just one less thing I got to take off if I don't have to. I should be able to do this without taking the wheel off. Um, so, enjoy. Hazy Days is music. Um, if you have requests from Hazy Days is song, I have the entire playlist, so you can leave it in the comments for the next video, um, and I would be happy to play that song. I like them all, so I have no problem playing any of them. So, enjoy. Read your papers and I watch your teeth. You got a sneaky feeling that you're trying to deceive me. You want to go to war, well, that's fine by me. You better grab your boots or bust leaves at three. Instead of shouting your mouth off and staying at home, giving out your orders at the end of the phone. Because this shit is real and each life leaves pain. There's people losing loved ones just for playing your game. Because they don't know me and I don't know them either. Should it really matter if I'm not a believer? Because the world's been turning since the day it was born. The people come along, start a brewing a storm. Shall I tell you how it feels to me? It's like you're filling up my country with the enemy. And then you pay their rent and put shoes on their feet. Then your talents, there's no money so the poor can eat. You don't make no sense, you're just promoting hate. Then you leave us in a shit that you helped to create. I think it's time we toughened up the border. You're acting like a patient with a mental disorder. And you can't blame us for the way we think. When you tell us every day that your shit don't stink. Now you can't tell me things ain't going wrong. I've even taken time out to sit and write this song. So if I offend or if I make you shout, you're the one who hasn't quite figured it out. 
But don't you think you're just creating racists? As far as I can see, it's on a profit basis. They don't know me, I don't know them either. Should it really matter if I'm not a believer? Cause the world's been turning since the day it was born. The people come along, start a brew on the stone. They don't know me, I don't know them either Should it really matter if I'm not a believer Cause the world's been turning since the day it was born The people come along, start a brew in the storm Cause they don't know me, I don't know them either Should it really matter if I'm not a believer Cause the world's been turning since the day it was born The people come along, start a brew in the storm One, two. Well, these rules are meant for breaking. Life's a journey that everyone's taking. Imagine time was twisted and you existed. Fun was on your side. As you climb to the top of the slide You're never gonna know it Cause all you did was blow it Now you're looking for a place to hide My friend you lend a helping hand To lost and found Well after all said and done Well I'll go and buy a gun But someone's gonna end up in the ground Let's break some bread And we'll all get fed And then we'll drink until tomorrow too many secrets and lies with your storytelling eyes I think you love all the pain and the sorrow You know, live and learn. So, uh, had this not been an option, we would have vice gripped the top of it. And, um... Ended up getting her loose with the um, ratchet and some vice grips. But this is an option, and it appears as if this is going to fit in there just fine. So, contact. Well, these streets are meant for living. There's too much taking and not a lot of giving. Well, if you're gonna be fake, well, that's a chance you take. But don't complain when the real are winning. Cause my friends, they land. All right, I'm feeling pretty confident, confident <laughs> that I can do this. Um, we did get that, uh, we did have the um, tie rod end in stock. You can see this one is pretty much just just done for. Um, so we have one in stock, it's in there now. Um, I'm just going to make sure that the steering wheel is straight. And I'm going to, we took a good look, uh, just eyeballed it. So I'm going to take a measurement from the front of the center line of that tire over to the center line of this tire. And it is, uh, 53 and a quarter on the front side and we'll take a look here on the back side You guys remember what I said 53 and a quarter And I've got 53 flat. So, I need to bring the back of that passenger side wheel out just a touch. So we'll do that real quick. Um, we don't have the, um, I need to bring it out. I don't have the um, tie rod in maxed out yet or tightened down completely. I just came out one turn. Um, we'll see where that gets us. Oh, 
that bearing needs to be tightened too. Brian, tighten this bearing when you're done. Check. And Roger. Um, tape measure. Where did I left it? We'll say if that's straight, that way it'll look straight. So, on the front side now, um, center. down there, uh, if I have to make some adjustments, who will. Um, I'll get her all tightened up, I'll bring you guys back to take a look inside there and see what you can see. You see me take her apart, so to put it back together, just opposite, and uh, also tighten up that bearing real quick, no big deal. Alright, before we get too far away from things, I'm going to have to detail the fender and this wheel again. But we tightened up the bearing, there's no more in there and I'll get you guys in here. You can see she went back together spectacularly. Nice to have parts in stock. I have to add that to the list of things I need to order so that we always have parts in stock. And um, why it's up in the air, I'm gonna hit some of the underneath bits with the fluid film while I'm here because I like to put that stuff underneath this car because it helps preserve it. So um, please enjoy the music from my friend Hazy Days while I'm under here spraying the undercarriage with the fluid film. Helping hand to those in need. Well, after all said and done, who really won? I think it all boils down to greed. So help me out, help me work it out, help me try to understand. I think we're all the same in this crazy game You gotta learn how to hold a hand My friend, you lend a helping hand to lost and found Well, after all said and done, well, you'll go and buy a gun But someone's gonna end up in the ground Let's break some bread and we'll all get fed And then we'll drink until tomorrow too many secrets and lies with your storytelling eyes I think you love all the pain and the sorrow Cleaning up the garage after we did the um, tie rod end on the 67 and uh, this is the fuel filter the first round out of the 64 bug so I thought that we would cut this open and take a good look at what's inside of it I'm just using this um, hacksaw blade just the blade because it's it's handy right now Clip the uh, watch your eyes. Clip the ends off of there.
All right, so you guys can see the crud in there. So this filter was in it the whole time the car was sitting at the gentleman's house that I bought it from and who knows how long before that. Um, the car was running with this filter in it. Um, however, I bet it's running a lot better now <laughs> with it not in it. Uh, so with the dissection complete, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here and uh, hanging out with me each and every day. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, here turning wrenches on Volkswagens. Um, we will see you guys in a few. Before I leave though, I, I won't leave you guys without Patina. Because it's raining outside, I will show you guys she's inside under a blanket, I'm sure. We'll go find her and uh, we will see you guys in a couple of days. Patina, would you like to say goodbye to the people on this rainy day? No, you got nothing for the people. Nothing. Nothing. That's it. Well, thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you guys in a couple of days.